Back in February, I believe it was February or March, I saw this article come across about York County might be shutting down taps. I immediately, I, I frankly got a little nauseous when I saw that because I couldn't imagine how something that when I was living county to county, hotel to hotel, and frankly homeless last summer helped save my life when I heard it, um, that it could go away and other veterans can't benefit from that really hurt me. I was inside the 2009 Fort Hood shooting as one of the first responders and I, I survived that terrorist attack. Um, I found 13 battle buddies that day who needed me more than I could have even thought about uh, accomplishing the things that I did, but we still worked together and we brought those people out. I'm here to stand up for uh, the playing of taps. I lost six good friends of mine and I believe that it it pays them tribute, pays them honor for their sacrifice. If we let one thing slip away, they all get slip, slowly get taken away and soon nobody knows or, or cares what's really going on. My buddies and me and, and every service member out there and the police and firemen, you know, we have, you know, when our buddies get lost and, you know, they lose their lives and they give their life in sacrifice, we have to honor them because if you don't, what's it all worth? What's it for? Uh, TAPS is it's it's about more than than us. It's about the people who came and died and gave the ultimate sacrifice before us and will after us. These veterans give so much to the nation. They give so so much to the country. Sometimes they're beat down. Sometimes they're put down. And sometimes they're discredited. But the point is, is we can all come together. We can be a team. We can fight together for others. And more importantly, we can fight for those who don't have voices right now. And we can give respect to those who don't have voices right now.